final of the under 20 boys 4x400. Final event of the 51st Carifta Games held for the third time in St. George's Grenada. Antigua and Barbuda, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Trinidad and Tobago, Bahamas, Grenada, Jamaica, Guyana and Barbados, the teams lining up for this final. They had to go through qualifying earlier today. So this is the second time we are seeing the under 20 boys at 4x4 four four on this Easter Monday. This is a great way to end. It always is. The Jamaicans three from three, can they sweep? Will they be denied? And if they are to be, which team is best placed to do it? We are about to find out. The Grenadians. Looking for one last moment of glory. How about the Bohemians? They haven't come with the star power in the sprint that sprints that we've become accustomed to from them. Some rebuilding taking place maybe for the next year or two. Those fans have turned up in their numbers over in the bleachers. They have been having a grand time, and why not? It's Karifta after all. Here we are with the last race of the Karifta Games. Started on Saturday morning we end on Monday night. The Grenadian fans expectant. They should be so proud of what they have achieved here. Azai Gardner will lead off for Antigua and Barbuda. Bahamas, they go in lane number seven, make that lane number four, apologies. Grenada in lane five. There is Gardner for Antigua and Barbuda, the lead-off runner. On your marks. Tight inside lane. That's number one. On the 20 boys, 4 by 400 final. Set. Antigua Barbuda, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Trinidad and Tobago, Bahamas, Grenada, Jamaica, Guyana, and Barbados. Grenada have the 400 champion on the opening leg. Gave them a fine start in qualifying today. Guyana. And That's he's looking to do that again tonight, the Guyanese. Javon Pinnock seems to be on the opening leg for Jamaica. Trinidad and Tobago have stopped here. No, it's Kamaria Bygrave on the opening leg for Jamaica. 
Guyana and Jamaica. Barbados going well on the outside in lane eight as well. The 400 champion, the 4635 man, steps away to give Guyana a slight advantage over Jamaica. Brilliant run by the 800 1500 champion. And the officials getting caught in the way of some of the athletes there as Marcinia Rose takes the baton for Jamaica. The 400 silver medalist goes in front. Guyana in second. Terrific start for them there in medal position. Rose wants to leave with a gold medal and he opens up the advantage for the Jamaicans. Barbados in third. They have a shot of the medal as well. St. Vincent and the Grenadines in fourth. Down the home stretch they come. Rose for Jamaica. Guyana, Barbados, St. Vincent and the Grenadines and Grenada following. Here they come. Javon. Pinnock has the baton now for Jamaica. Fall started in the 400 final. Was on the third leg of the silver medal winning 4 by 100 team last night. Is this his moment of glory as he flies down the back stretch? The Jamaicans are well clear here. 305-68, the Carifta record. Pinnock still flying. Guyana still in second position. Barbados in third. St. Vincent and the Grenadines in fourth. Grenada not out of it yet. They are in fifth position. Here they come to the final change. It's Jamaica. They have... Is that Jaquan Coke on the anchor leg? It is Jaquan Coke, you know. First we're seeing him for the Carifta Games. Well, second, he was in the 1500. Silver medalist in the 1500. Shocker seeing him on the 4x4 team, but the Jamaicans are so far clear. There's a mad battle on for the silver medal. Guyana holding that position. Grenada coming forward. Barbados there as well. St. Vincent and the Grenadines just off the pace. Coke is fighting and holding on for Jamaica. He is so far clear, he's not gonna be caught. Guyana in second, Grenada in third, Barbados in fourth, Jamaica, Guyana, Grenada, Barbados. That's the way they go across the line. The Jamaicans sweep the four by fours. The Grenadians have another medal to celebrate. Guyana with a silver medal. And Terra finished here. It is fitting, it is very fitting that we end the Carifta Games with the hosts on the medal podium and the number one team in the region striking gold. That's how we finish for 2024. Amazing performance there from Team Jamaica sweeping the 4x4s as they swept the sprint hurdles earlier today. They've been nothing short of outstanding, but credit must go to the home team as well. They've had a good games. They've provided a fantastic atmosphere. And these young Guyanese have been brilliant. They have put on a show at these Carifta games. They've been a treat to watch. Guyana, massive disappointment for Barbados. For so long, they were in medal contention right up to the line as Jaquan Coke led the Jamaicans home. He was given a massive advantage to work with. Guyana front-loaded with their 400 gold medalist. And then they had Nielsen on the anchor leg. The Jamaicans miles clear of the rest though. Trinidad and Tobago will await confirmation and what happened to them they stopped Bahamas stopped as well so a lot was going on at the start there the race was never recalled and I suspect there will be more drama there might be protests at the end of this one I don't think it will mean a rerun of the event not with all teams at least but who knows maybe we'll see a rerun with some of the teams. 
Well, 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 you just never know. Drama, drama, drama. It's Karifta. There is the Jamaican team led off by the 800-1500 champion, Kamaria Bygrave. Marcinia Rose, the 400 silver medalist on the second leg. Javon Pinnock, four started in the 400 final on the third leg. And Jacqueline Coke running the anchor leg for Jamaica. Remember, Coke finished late for a silver medal in the 1500 meters. So essentially on that Jamaica team, two 815 runners and two quarter milers. Do we have Gerard Marcelli standing by? We, ha we have the Grenadian fans though. The Vincentians, well, they gave it a good go. Keo Davis came to the Carifta Games with high hopes, fourth in the 200 final. But I think his future is really bright, regardless of what has happened here over the last three days.